we're gonna spray the Buick, the body, the skirts, the deck lid, quarter extensions, uh, front fill panel, a few different pieces we've got here. But we're getting ready to spray it leaf green. We're gonna use DPLV 50 as a sealer, like always. Got it all wiped down. Water first, then wax and grease. Here we go. So we've got our DPLV 50 down as a sealer. Came out really nice and clean. Got a quite a booth full of parts today. It's, it's kind of tight walking through here. Hopefully I don't bump something today. Alright, here we go. We're getting ready to spray some base. Using the same gun as I did last time. LS400 NTEC. 20 pounds. Using 1595 reducer. We're gonna do four coats of base, five coats of clear. So right now I've got three coats of base on, it's coming out very nice, very clean, very happy with it so far. So I'm going to let this flash about 10 more minutes, give it about a 20 minute flash, and then I'm going to go on to the fourth coat, and that is more or less a control coat. That is basically, I'm moving very fast with a lot of overlap. I'm still making the base medium wet, but it's going to more or less just kind of be wafted on the car, so it's super even. This is why they call it a control coat. We're trying to control the metallics, the pearls, the things that are in the base, and just make them lay out really nice and silky. So we've got our control coat down, it's still flashing off a little bit, we're going to give it about 20 minutes to flash, let everything lay out, let everything dry, then we're going to come in, shut the lights off, check everything over, check for coverage, check for any modeling, anything like that, and once we're satisfied, we'll start, uh, start the spray some clear, PC5700. As usual, five coats. So now I've got the lights off. We're going to take the sun gun. I'm going to check this thing over, make sure there's no modeling, make sure everything's covered, all of our edges look nice, down in all the pockets, trunk gutter, hinges, all the places that generally may get missed a little, like right here, the back side of this hook. It's kind of hard for you guys to see, but it's, uh, it's a little light on color back there, things like that. That's what I'm looking for right now. All right, so we're getting ready to spray some clear. This is splashed about 40 minutes or so of this base. Uh, let it dry really well. So now we're getting ready to spray some clear. It's been about 40 minutes since we put the last coat of base down. We really only need to give it 10 to 20 minutes after the last coat of base before clear, but I like to let it flash extra long before we clear. I, I believe that does also help with shrinkage because if you can get, if you can let any of those solvents that are in there come out before you clear, before you bury it with more solvent, let it flash, 
Let it, give it time. We're not in a hurry when we're painting. When I paint, generally I start in the morning, I plan on painting all day. If it doesn't take all day, great. But slow is fast, fast is slow in painting. You don't want to rush things, you don't want to be in a hurry. That's when you have problems. So if you notice, this is still actually fairly shiny, laid out very silky smooth. Now I'm gonna start tacking this. And this is the only time I've tacked this. I tack before sealer and I tack before clear. Other than that, unless I have an issue, I really don't tack. So, as you can see, I just tacked. I've got very little green on there, hardly any. And that is a good sign that I'm using the right reducer, especially on a job this big. I've got a lot of stuff in here, big car, lots of panels. So when I've got all that going on, especially slow reducer, I don't want, like if you look at the deck lid, so when I sprayed this, I started in the back. I did the deck lid, I did these pieces, then I went on to the car. And even using the slow reducer, there's so much spraying that by the time I was spraying the roof in that side of the car, this was dry. And this does have some overspray on it. You can see where I tacked there. You can see, you can see where I'm wiping it off and getting a lot more green because this was dry already. And so say I had started on the car and all that overspray landed on this and then I sprayed this last, now this is gonna be gravelly and it probably won't match the car. So there's always, you have to always think about the consequences of what could happen because of stuff like this. Because I put my last coat of base on, it dried and there's a little bit of overspray dried on there that I'm tacking off. I'm not worried, it's gonna match fine. If I had done that backwards though, big problems. So we're gonna do five coats on here, and just like last time, we're gonna do five coats on the outside, doing the jams. So first coat, I'm only gonna be doing the exterior of things, things that we're gonna sand and polish. Thank you. 